In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sew a zipper into a pillow. Hi, I'm Jan from Newton Custom Interiors, where I like to share tips and tutorials to help you decorate your home on a budget. If that sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to click the subscribe button below and also the bell so that you'll get notified every time I have a new video. A few years ago, I did a sewing tutorial about how to put a zipper in a pillow, but it was for a pillow sham. So the zipper is on the back side up above the bottom edge of the pillow. Over the last few years, I've had a lot of people ask me how to sew a zipper into a regular pillow. And so that's what this tutorial is going to be for. We're going to sew a zipper into this regular pillow and then you can easily open and close your pillow and wash the pillow cover if you need to. Here are the tools and supplies that you'll need to make your pillow with a zipper. So to make your pillow, you'll need the fabric of your choice. You'll need a measuring tape or a tape measure to measure your pillow form. You'll need your pillow form. You'll also need scissors to cut out your fabric and scissors to use at the sewing machine. You'll need a seam ripper. You'll need some kind of fabric marker to mark your fabric when you cut it out. To push out the corners of your pillow, I like to use that purple thing. You'll need a zipper. You'll need pins. And you'll need either a yardstick or some kind of measuring item that you can cut your fabric out. You'll of course need your sewing machine. You're going to need a regular presser foot and you're also going to need a zipper foot. And you'll need thread to match your fabric. The first thing that you need to do is to measure your pillow form. I'm going to take my tape measure and I'm going to start at one seam and then go across the pillow to the other seam and it's about 16 inches. Since this is a rectangle pillow form, I'm also going to measure the length of the pillow. So I'm going to start at the bottom seam and go to the top and it's about 12 inches. So my pillow form is 16 inches wide and 12 inches long. When I cut out my fabric, I'm going to cut it exactly the same size as my pillow form. Cut out the front and back sides of your fabric. You want to make sure that you cut your fabric the same size as your pillow form. After I cut out my fabric, to keep the fabric from fraying, I like to either serge around all four sides of each piece of fabric or on your sewing machine, if you have a zigzag stitch, you can do a zigzag stitch all the way around each piece of fabric. Put your two pieces of fabric together, one on top of the other, with the right sides of the fabric on the inside. To mark where your zipper is going to go, put a ruler at the bottom edge of the fabric and with a fabric marker, I'm going to mark at two and a half inches on either end of my fabric along the bottom edge. And then next, I'm going to pin the bottom edge so that I can sew a seam for my zipper. When you're sewing your bottom seam, you need to make a stitch line at a medium stitch length. Then once you get to your mark, you're going to make a basting stitch at, with a longer stitch length. So on my machine, the regular stitching is going to be at a two. And then when I need to do the basting stitch, I'm going to change it to four. So I'm going to start my bottom seam. I'm going to do a back stitch at the beginning. Again, I'm using a medium size stitch length until I get to my mark. So I'm going to reverse. Make sure I take my pin out. Then I'm going to continue to the mark. At this mark, I'm going to do a really good back stitch. Then I'm going to change my stitch length to a long stitch to do the basting stitch 
until I get to my next mark. Okay, I'm coming up to my next mark. I'm going to change my stitch back to a medium stitch length. Do a back stitching here. And then continue on to the edge of the fabric. Making sure to do another back stitch. Once you've sewn your bottom seam, lay out your fabric with the right sides down and your seam up. And then you're going to want to finger press or iron your seam open. Let me talk to you for a minute about what size zipper that you're going to need for your pillow. My pillow width is 16 inches, so I bought a 12 inch zipper. I chose a 12 inch so that I could center it along the bottom seam so it would work best for my 16 inch wide fabric. I chose a white color so it would show up better on the video. You'll probably want to choose a zipper that is the same color as your fabric. With the tab up, you're going to put your zipper face side down and center it between the edges of the fabric. You want the teeth of your zipper lined up with your seam. If you feel more comfortable and you want to stabilize your zipper where it needs to go, you can pin it into place. Before we sew in our zipper, I'm going to change out my presser foot and add in the zipper foot. Before I start sewing my zipper in, I'm going to lower the zipper a little ways. And then make sure that the tab is still up. And we're going to start sewing the zipper into the seam. Again, I've got the teeth of the zipper right next to my seam. I'm just going to continue sewing along down the zipper. Once I get to the zipper pull, I'm going to stop with my needle in the fabric and then I'm going to pull the zipper up so it's past my zipper foot. When I get to the bottom of the zipper, I'm going to stop and make sure my needle is down. I'm going to raise the presser foot and pivot the fabric. And then I'm going to sew across the bottom of the zipper. I'm going to lower my needle again and raise the presser foot. Pivot my fabric again. And then I'm going to lower the foot and I'm going to run the zipper foot and sew all the way up the second side of the zipper. I'm going to lower my zipper tab a little bit again and then we'll work around it when we get to that point. So I've come to the top of the zipper. I'm going to put my needle down. I'm going to pivot my fabric. So I'm going to sew across the top of the zipper. Then I'll pivot again and do a little back stitch on our first edge. So I've got my needle down. I'm right where I started on that first edge. I'm going to lift up my presser foot, pivot my fabric again, Put the presser foot down and just do a little back stitch right here. Once you've got your zipper sewn in, lay your fabric with the zipper side down and your basting stitch seam on top. And we're going to use a seam ripper and I'm going to very carefully take out the basting stitches. I'm going to make a little cut to get it started. Then I'm going to use the side with the red ball, have that down, and I'm going to go across the seam. You want to do this very carefully because you don't want to rip your fabric. You're going to cut the stitches so that you can use your zipper.
after you've ripped open the basting stitches, you're going to have some thread sticking out. And you can just pluck those out with your fingers. And sometimes it helps to use a lint roller or a piece of tape and just try and get all the little threads up. When you've got your basting stitches opened up, make sure that your zipper is still open a little ways. Then we're going to place the two right sides together again so your zipper is out on the bottom edge and we're going to pin the three unfinished sides of our fabric. start sewing at the first corner make sure that you put the seam together so that it will lay better when you turn the pillow right side out we're going to use a half inch seam allowance I'm going to do a back stitch and then I'm going to start sewing up the first side of the pillow At the first corner, I'm going to stop about a half inch away from the second edge of the fabric. And with my needle down, I'm going to lift my presser foot, pivot the fabric, then I'm going to sew along the second side of the fabric. At the next corner, I'm going to stop again about a half inch away from the edge of the fabric lower my needle, raise my presser foot, and pivot the fabric again. And then we're going to sew down the third side of the fabric, and then again I'm going to hold the seam closed when I get to the edge of the fabric. When I get to the edge, I'm going to do another back stitch. After you've sewn your pillow pieces together, at the, each of the four corners, you're going to want to very carefully cut at an angle across the corner, making sure that you don't cut into your stitch line. That's going to allow your corner to turn right side up and not have a lot of bulky fabric in the corner. Next, you're going to take your zipper pull and open the zipper the rest of the way. And then you're going to turn your pillow right side out. To help push the corners out, you can use some kind of blunt object or you can use that purple thing and push the corner out. After you get your four corners pushed out, continue to pull your fabric so the face side is out. And then you're ready to insert your pillow form. Then when you have the pillow form inserted, you simply close the zipper and your pillow is finished. And that's how you sew a zipper into a pillow. Thanks for watching.